It's produced with T-Customs with T-Customs.com. And today I want to talk about how to change the default Ableton Live template set. And hopefully by doing that, it'll allow you to keep your beat sessions more organized and really help you delve into making music a lot quicker. So by default, the live session looks like this. It only includes a single audio track and a single MIDI track. And that'll do okay to get you started. But ideally, you want to create a custom set to complement your own workflow. Just to show you an example, let me open up one of my customized sets and let you see what I'm talking about. So this is the main template that I use for most of my beat sessions. And what you can see over here on the right is I've grouped together a bunch of different instruments. I've got my drums separated from my hi-hats, percussion, etc. I've got a, uh, an audio track down here that's just called sample because I do a lot of sample based production. So this is, just, this is just an audio track for me to drag over a sample and I can do my slicing and everything from this. Uh, under the drums, you're going to see the first track is just an audio track. If I wanted to drag over some sort of a drum break or anything like that, any kind of audio samples. And then the rest of what you're going to see are, these are all MIDI tracks, and in each of them I've loaded a drum rack. And it's kind of the same uh, principle I use for the rest of these. I've got an audio track, and then I've got other MIDI tracks with drum racks in them. And so it really just does like a lot of the, the initial administrative work for you. You already have that ready. You save this as a, a template and then you're ready to go. You've already got uh, your tracks. You can just drag over the samples, whatever you're going to use, whatever sounds, and you know, you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about you know, creating a new MIDI track and then dragging over a drum rack and all that sort of thing. Now you might ask, why can't you just put all of your drum sounds, for instance, into a single drum rack? I mean, a kick snare, why do you need independent drum racks for each of those sounds? And the quick answer is you can. You can put them all in, in a single drum rack. The problem is, is when you start going into the mixing phase and you're trying to tweak individual sounds within a drum rack, when you have them separated like this, when you switch over into the session view, you've already got your controls over each of the sounds independently. So that's really the main reason that I like to, to separate them out is um, so I'm already ready when I go into the mix. Like I don't have to worry about separating instruments and that sort of thing. So this isn't to like limit you, put you in kind of in a box or constraint by doing this. I've got names and it's like, oh, well, I can only drums, hi-hats, percussion, etc. Like I've only got that. It's just really to give you like a basis to start from. And then, you know, if I want to add more, you can duplicate these, rename it. And just it's to give you a foundation to work with when you're making your beats. I know everybody does their own style of production. Everybody has their own preferences and their own you know, style workflow. So you obviously would need to tailor this to whatever um, is best suited for you and your production. But just kind of give you an idea of, you know, for my beats, this is kind of what I use. Once you have a set customized, once you're ready to go, all you have to do then is go to options, click preferences, and then in the file folder, all you have to do is click the save button, save current set as default and that saves the set and so every time you launch a new Ableton session it will um, it'll launch that that set for you and also just to show you real quick if you're not sure how to make a group if you had multiple tracks that you wanted to put into a group um, all you have to do is create your um, your tracks I'll create an audio and a MIDI track and then you just select both or how many ever tracks you wanted you select them all right click and click group tracks and so now you have a group and I could you know call that whatever just name it you can also right click and you can add a color like you've seen that on here you can you know customize the color just to kind of make everything stand out so overall my recommendation would be to experiment with creating a customized set uh, play with some of the different things and figure out what's best suited for you um, what I'm also gonna do is include this set uh, for free download that way you can just see you can you know you can go to here and play with the groups and just see exactly what I did it's not anything too complicated, but it's it's like I said, it's just a foundation to work with versus going in and just having a single MIDI and a single audio track. So that's all I really plan to cover in this video. Uh, if you're interested in downloading this, this customized set, um, it's going to be free download, first link in the description below. I really think putting one of these customized sets together is worthwhile. It's definitely going to help you stay organized and really help you speed up your workflow and put together music a lot quicker than you normally would. Uh, until next time, happy beat making. I'm out. Peace.